Now we have been to Space 220 before, but there's always something new to experience at this restaurant. Last time I was there, I loved all the items that we had. This time I'm planning on trying totally new items that we've never tried before, giving you my in-depth thoughts review it's gonna be great. Now I'm back by the entrance here taking our look at Magic Band Plus and the uh, partner statue is not there quite yet, but we're keeping our eyes open for it. Keep in mind, these standard Magic Bands are still around. So if you don't really need Magic Band Plus, you can get these as well. Now the other day I mentioned about uh, Magic Band Plus and the need to charge things overnight. You may recall, not a huge fan of charging so many things, Apple Watch, phone, you name it. Guess what I forgot to charge? You know what I mean? So. There, there's, I think there's some logic behind it. How many things you have to charge for a Disney trip? Preferably not that many. Its popularity is still pretty high here at Walt Disney World. Space 220 reservations are gone for a while. If you book it out far enough in advance, usually it's not too, too tough, but it's either the lounge or the sit down. You have a choice. Both are great. Here's our look at that menu here. You can find the uh, three course dinner and the two course lunch, your choice. Liftoffs, Star Course, and the Supernova Suites. It's gonna be great. All right, we are ready to take that race to space. We got a nice little area to sit back and relax when uh, crowds die down a bit. But until then, hey, we're ready. We're headed off. Space Pass is yellow instead of the blue that I got. I'm not sure there's a huge difference there, but we're in section two. That might mean something totally different. It's gonna be fun. Is rumbling. Uh. Get ready to board the Mark V Stellavator, the latest in space elevator design and technology. Bye, Epcot. Today, you'll have a spectacular view of Florida and the wow. Eastern Seaboard. Oh, there's clouds covering where Moana will be. It's a big parking lot, too, down there. The air is feeling kind of thin. Now we're pressurized in here, we're good. There's our home sweet home down there. Vegetables in space. They got gravity, so they're good. And we are back in the space station with an incredible view of Earth below us. Look at this incredible restaurant. Always love it in here. So for today, we are going to try the Milky Way, which is an iced latte. It's one of their special items that they have here. Looking forward to it. Specialty beverage, additional $12. Important to note, $79 per person as a kind of includes appetizer, entree, and dessert. That's important. I'm going to get the calamari, which I've heard mixed reviews about. Or maybe I've already had that. Okay, strike that. I may change that. The short rib, which I have not tried, even though I know the filet and salmon are amazing. And I think the carrot cake, depending on what my server suggests. Here's that Milky Way coffee we're gonna try momentarily. Appetizers, the uh, tartare, sounds really good, yellow tuna. We got the short rib, which is supposed to be outstanding. Tried the steak, tried the salmon, both are great. Wanted to try something new. And apparently the new item dessert to try is a shortcake. Short, that's what she said. She's like, get the shortcake. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. She's like, if you don't like it, I'll fix it. I'm like, okay, fair enough. So let's try that coffee first, and then we'll get into food. Wow, stuff's already happened. That shuttle taking off right there. Whoa, that's so good. That is so good. It's just, it's sweet. It's just as sweet as I like it. You have to like sweet things, sweet coffee. If you don't, don't get that. Sweet, really good. Not sure if I'm supposed to put the Milky Way in there or if that's just for effect, but cool nonetheless. Love it. Great way to start the meal. Yeah. The hoverboard, there he goes. He's flying away on his hoverboard in space. Woo! I want to try that. Our appetizer today is the Neptuna Tartare, and I've got to tell you, it looks really good. Looks a lot like a special tuna tower that I've seen on cruise ships before. But we'll uh, give it a try and I'll let you know if it's as good as that. Only one way to find out. Overall thoughts on the um, tuna tartare. It's okay. It's not amazing. It is trying to be the, the uh, ahi tuna avocado tower from the cruise ship. It should stop trying because it's not working. It's fine. It's not bad at all. I wouldn't go out of my way for this one, personally. I do like some of the flavors. Not bad while I'm eating it, but wouldn't get it again. I'd probably even try the calamari give that one another shot. Uh, before I got this one again, just because it's kind of lacking in some of those big flavors that we come to enjoy at some of these uh, restaurants, even in the tuna, not just the avocado, but all of it together. It has to be that whole combination of flavors. This looks like a father and son, like having a fun time together. That is so, so cool. I love that. There it is, the short rib here at Space 220. Looks really good with the grits and the carrots on the side. Looking forward to digging in and letting you know how it is. Now, in addition, I'm here with friends. Check out the lobster. It looks so good. Sizzling away with butter. 
Ah, this looks amazing. Let's dig in. Let's talk about that short rib for a minute. Delicious, falls apart. You do need to mix it with the sauce, as it's intended, as it's intended. When you do, the flavor pops. When you don't, it tastes a little dry. Mix it with that sauce, it just falls right apart. I gotta show you this. Just look at it, it just falls apart on you, but don't forget a little bit of that sauce right there, and you're in great shape. It is so, so good. Grits in addition, they're super good. There's like some bacon flavor in there. I love it, green beans are also amazing. Haven't tried the carrot yet, but yeah, this is an incredible meal. Wow. Now, in terms of ranking, thinking about the different food here at Space 220, do you love short rib? Get the short rib, no question. I prefer, personally, the steak and the salmon. Doesn't mean I don't love this. I love this. I'd get this again, for sure, but I'd go out of my way for the steak or the salmon, just because there's, there's bolder flavors there. That being said, if I could replace one thing, I'd put these grits on both of those other meals, because these grits are incredible. A smoky bacon flavor to them, delicious texture, outstanding the whole dish is outstanding there's the whole family in space the mom dad and there's the kid flying away oh he's doing a little spin there there they go here it is our dessert the shortcake and i gotta tell you it looks really really good Let's give it a try i'll let you know what i think okay i'm impressed shortcake with the strawberries a very light and airy to it the flavor of the shortcake is very subdued intentionally to bring out the strawberries you get this hint of vanilla and then a real slam with that strawberry flavor. Really, really good. I love this dessert. I would highly recommend it. I would get it again. Might even go out of my way for it. Really good. Okay, here's my damage to the shortcake so far. You can see I loved it so much with the strawberry. It's so good. This stuff over here kind of tastes like bread. I don't, I don't think it's bread though. Kind of doesn't really go. It's fine though. The, the flavor is here. I can just ignore that just for show. That's fine. Really do like it though. This stuff's a little too hard to eat, but this. So good. Another spectacular meal here in Space 220. Headed back to Earth. Uh, thank you, loved it. We're headed back to Earth now on a long, arduous journey all the way back to, no, it's gonna take about 10 seconds on that magical elevator. There's no excuse not to eat your vegetables in space now. Not when they've got their own gravity. Looks like they're getting well watered too. We are Earthbound now in space. Headed back down to our magical Earth. All right, bye, Space 220. You're ready for the Tower of Terror drop. Oh. Bye, Space 220. It was fun. Wow. Such a cool space station. Now if we look down here, going back to Florida. Oh, as you can see, both coasts are coming down. track go around that was i had not seen that before now as we're outside uh back on earth here you'll notice that by the wonders of life slash play pavilion there's no pathway to get to it all these walls are down as you've seen before but right now there's no way to get to it and not any construction in sight doesn't mean that nothing's happening but i have a feeling we'll learn more at d23 when it, they announce a bit more there's one of our favorites the monorail of seeing sight of it going by here at the Food and Wine Festival, headed towards the land now. Time for living with the land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo help to create the rich soil one day become home to the American farm. See, I know most of it. I love it though, prairie dogs. Welcome to our living laboratory. We're seeing it for the first time for the Food and Wine Festival. They got some very special things they're gonna tell us where they come from. They have uh, some in Spain. So if you want to try some of that rice out of the festival, you know where to turn it. Guava. Love that uh, shimmering sips guava mousse. It's really good. Check out this little display here with the ukulele. Perfect for the food and wine festival. Oh, from the fry basket. Okay. Something to try. We know what to look for. Here's the sweet pepper served in Australia. The grilled, sweet, spicy, raspberry shrimp. Yum. Cucumber over here. We're gonna enjoy them outside of this ride, not on the ride. There's the uh, bib lettuce. Like, Ooh, I actually tried that the other day. With the uh, wow, I can't believe that. I, I probably ate something that was grown right here for the uh, that pork shoulder. Wow, from Kenya. Ooh, the coffee uh, barbecued beef tenderloin. Yum. I'm impressed with how much they have for the food and wine festival here. They even have a traditional Japanese tea. I love that. 
the green tea from Japan, cabbage, also from Japan, and there's mint over there for Morocco. And they even have a little Moroccan tea, a little setup right here. This is so great. Oh my gosh, I love the efforts they're taking. Pepper, the Mac and Eats, which is going to be open soon. There's chives for Mexico, and the uh, tostada, which we have tried in the past. And then the uh, England, right over here. You've got the uh, black tea and an English tea. Wow, there's just like so many tea setups. We got crumpets. I'm just gonna grab one of those crumpets. They look so good. I'm still full from Space 220, but I'm just about ready for a nice evening tea. It sounds great. Now today is a special day because there's a Falcon 9 launch that's gonna happen in about three minutes. Managed to make it back over here after living with the land to catch it. Hopefully we'll be able to see it during the day. It's kind of tough, but we'll still look out there, see if we can find it. I can show it to you. Love those launches. Love to like watch them from different locations. It's the first time watching it from Epcot, I think. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna look for this rocket, gonna be tough to see. There it is, there it is, I see it. Good catch. There it is, flying into the air. Wow, the Falcon 9 rocket making its way into space right now. We're watching it from Epcot and, oh my gosh, it's so cool. I always love seeing those rockets take off. Just incredible, absolutely incredible. See that line in the sky for where it took off from. Starting to lose it now as it makes its way into space. You get the opportunity and you see one happening when you're at Disney, definitely don't miss it. So, so even during the day, it's not quite as you know incredible during the day because you don't see as much as the little fireball in the sky. But with this view and the monorail going by, you just can't beat it. You really, really can't. Falcon 9. Lifting off from Kennedy Space Center. And ending our night with an amazing view of the monorail going by, passing by Spaceship Earth as it makes its way back into Epcot. What an awesome day today. Well, that was a fun coincidence day. Space 220 and real life space stuff going on. Rocket launches at Epcot. Really enjoyed every minute of today. I sure hope you did too. Thanks so much for watching. It means a lot to be able to share it all with you. A special thanks to our patrons for making it all possible. Until next time, have a magical day. I'll see you real soon.